at least two weeks before because uh, you yourself don't know how you're going to adjust uh, so at least two weeks before you should uh, reach uh, the orientation mm-hmm. is around three or four days before and mm-hmm. uh, make sure you arrive around 10 or 12 days before your orientation so that uh, mm-hmm. you can uh, go to international house try to get your uh, uh, registration details your subject details whatever you have look your classes mm-hmm. who are your classmates uh, look around campus what facilities are yeah my class size was around 42 and mm-hmm. in that around three were american and the rest were indians and chinese and 50 50 ratio in every class yeah for msit you can definitely participate because in msit the course uh, load is uh, not too heavy it's heavy but not too heavy yeah for technical courses the credits is 30 but the uh, course work is too much i mean uh, the assignments are pretty heavy for msit uh, in first two semesters you will find it uh, pretty heavy uh, first semester you will find it pretty heavy but second is not too heavy and third is also not too heavy the fourth semester is pretty uh, easy going So for MSIT you can definitely participate in the campus activities there's a recreation center you can go there every day uh, it's filled with lot of facilities uh, like swimming pool all sorts of indoor indoor sports football uh, basketball or uh, tennis whatever uh, courses are uh, every semester you have to take three courses and uh, if you have three courses the every week there is one lecture for each subject uh, which is of 3 hours if you don't have a 3 hour lecture you'll have a one and a half uh, lecture uh, but uh, you will have two lectures of one and a half hours like msit uh, there are only two courses allowed to take outside of business school and uh, these should be approved by your advisor so you can uh, okay. like every student have has to talk to their graduate advisor before selecting these subjects so if they approve you okay. can uh, take them uh, yeah the focus is on gpa the professors will uh, really make it strict at the start of the class that uh, this is what your performance should be in each area and that If you uh, perform well in all these criteria, you can get a good GPA. So there's class participation, there's assignment, uh, then there's discussion, then there's project work. Every subject has got a project. Then there's your exams. Some some subjects have exam, not all subjects have exam, but some subjects like if the professor is really strict on your, uh, you know. a uh, curriculum then he will have an exam or else there won't be an exam so and each criteria has certain uh, weightage like participation has 10% assignments has 20% so on and based on these at the end your gpa is calculated and if you score 90% in uh, each subject uh, you can get a 4.0 gpa which is pretty easy participation assignments and it's not too tough to get a 4.0 gpa